hello dear viewer welcome to my channel in this video I would like to share with you two phrases in Malay language uh, just earlier I had met two Malaysian tourists and I asked them how to say thank you in Malay language terimakasu terimakasu means thank you in Malay language terimakasu means thank you in Malay language and welcome in Malay language is sama 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 means welcome in Malay language uh, the few times I have encountered Malaysian tourists uh, in Turkey they have always been uh, friendly and approachable so uh, that's uh, you know nice about um, them uh, and um, uh, that's cool but uh, the sad thing is I don't speak Malay language so you know I have just shared with you two phrases basic phrases but um, yeah it's not it's not much help uh, but anyway um, in Malaysia uh, three official languages are spoken uh, I think that's uh, a great thing um, that um, you know um, there are uh, more than one official languages uh, actually I wish uh, I had been born in a country where there were more than one official language but unfortunately I was born in Hungary so and um, there's just one official language in Hungary as you can guess Hungarian and um, uh, earlier earlier I was sitting on a bench and uh, there were two uh, Turkish university students um, who uh, came up to me to ask me to help with their homework you know they they have got an assignment um, that they needed to uh, make a short interview with uh, a tourist so <laughs> they found me but yeah i was just thinking to myself okay sure but yeah at first i didn't know the topic you know so i was just sitting on the bench and you know i didn't expect uh, anybody to um, ask me any questions so you know that was the least i expected that two university students would come to me and ask me uh, you know question and basically what they were asking me about was um, uh, fashion in Hungary and um, what traditional clothes um, uh, are worn in Hungary and um, uh, what were people wearing in the past and um, how uh, fashion has changed and what do people wear nowadays so that was their question but yeah I didn't uh, uh, you know end up uh, speaking well uh, because first of all I'm so tired today that I barely have energy um, so um, uh, I was quite tired and um, yeah I mentioned to them that um, in some villages and on some occasions um, uh, traditional clothes are worn um, and um, those uh, include like um, long skirts and uh, women wear embroidery shirts embroidery shirts and, um, and blouse so it's uh, you know I mean nice traditional clothes but I mean um, you know it's just on some occasions people uh, wear you know it's um, for example uh, in uh, uh, Easter time for example at Easter at Easter um, there is tradition in one Hungarian village village called Holoke it's in northeastern Hungary and um, and uh, women uh, wear traditional clothes and <laughs> men um, go and uh, sprinkle water on them uh, this is at Easter time Easter time so that's a tradition but you know uh, I just it was this uh, strange thing that you know 
when those students were asking me these questions about traditional clothes and fashion these things didn't come to my mind I was so tired and the Sun you know hit me the other day I had sunburn and this morning I had to go to the immigration office uh, to submit documents so I was very exhausted you know I got up early in the morning and I'm, I'm tired so that's why um, actually I ended up speaking so uh, horrible I mean uh, to me you know if they would show me that video I would be embarrassed because I would be you know like I'm so ashamed of myself because I don't speak like that normally uh, first of all I'm not lucky that English is not my native language I'm not lucky in that sense so that's a huge disadvantage for me um, but I mean <laughs> the question about fashion is really a question not really related to me because they were asking me like uh, tell us um, uh, tell us a famous Hungarian fashion designer I'm like <laughs> thinking to myself oh my god I can't uh, recall a name right now but let me look at uh, you know uh, you know on the internet and then you know I said uh, Dora Konsanski as for a famous Hungarian fashion designer Dora Konsanski and uh, then I said to them you know uh, sorry I can't recall any other names for you know fashion designers in Hungary so yeah that was you know embarrassing I couldn't um, speak well in English so um, yeah but I mean what do you expect that you know in my daily life I don't have a chance to use English with anyone around me because nobody speaks English here I mean there are few people who speak English here but not in my um, surroundings unfortunately I live quite I live quite far from the city center in Istanbul so um, finding people who speak English is really difficult over there because um, there aren't many people who speak English there so um, and I also have another disadvantage disadvantage that is um, that I don't speak Russian or Arabic because in Turkey those uh, languages are also important so as you can imagine I face many um, difficulties um, and I have a disadvantage in terms of you know language because my native language is not useful at all so anyway that's it for this video and um, I was talking about different topics I'm sorry but actually you know I think a person has to be well-rounded you, you know you have to know about a lot of different things I mean languages and other topics but it's like impossible that you know a person uh, cannot know all these things you know it's impossible so I mean um, yeah I just keep facing this issue that I um, don't know anything special and yeah it makes me feel very sad and depressed actually so yeah if I have to be honest with you I really do feel depressed because I have um, a disadvantage and you know I don't have a good chance um, uh, to work in tourism industry because I come from Hungary and it's uh, you know a small country and you know the native language that I speak is not useful besides I don't use that language here anyway I mean it's no use if I have to use any language here it's just Turkish or English but I mean uh, English is only with foreigners you know if I encounter foreigners because uh, with most of the locals I cannot speak in English that's the main issue for me and um, yeah that's it anyway for today and I hope you guys are doing well take care goodbye